Uh, let's uh, let's get on with our next guest with no further ado. I'm delighted to say joining us, former Manchester United and Leicester defender, and all round good egg, it's Danny Simpson joins us now. Good evening, Dan. Good evening, boys. You all right? Simo, you? hello, my brother. <laughs> you, you must like a, Dan, you must like a bit of Prince. <laughs> Um, oh, no, I can't oh, say. I can't. Oh, oh, listen, yeah, listen. I, listen, I'm, I'm quite young in it, so. <laughs> oh my word! I'm, he's got, to, he's got some old school classics, though, Simo. Don't let no, him fool you. No, I have. No, I have. You know, he's, 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 having, he's, having, he's having a pop at me in particular. He's having a pop. You saying he's young? No, <laughs> that's, no, what he's, no. that's what he's doing there. <laughs> I'm only he's it? only got like three, four years on me. <laughs> uh, he's catching, he's catching up, mate. He's catching up. First off, Dan, Dan how, how are you, mate? What, what's keeping you busy? The last time we spoke, you uh, we spoke to you a couple of weeks ago in the sports bar, and you were in the yeah. studio, weren't you? A drive time with me and Goldstein. You, you, uh, where you keep yourself fit? I know you're doing a bit, of, a bit of training, bit of you're trying to keep yourself active. You're still looking for a club. What's the latest with? you yeah no I'm, I'm still keeping myself fit um so i think uh, obviously next week the main window closes and i think normally after that is when you know it's the free transfer market and i feel like at that point people get the list and go right what do we need and right this is the only people we can get and i think that's just how it is so uh, for me i'm just waiting for that really and, and seeing seeing what comes up yeah, no, see, Mark, I vouch for that because we, you know, we, we spent a long time in lockdown um, when yeah. uh, you, you was looking for a contract and you was absolutely working your socks off, you know, every yeah. day, eating well, training hard, and that, that, that heat was getting, and um, and, the, and then you got your rewards going to Bristol. We was as well. We was. Yeah, I do my best, you know what I mean? But I was fully, reti- I was fully retired. <laughs> but no, you keep going, I'm sure, sure someone will come along. No, 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 hopefully. Dan, let's, let, let's, where do you want to talk? Do you want to talk Leicester or Manchester United? Both. Let's get them both. Where do you want to start? Where do you want to start? Let's be both, because they, they play each other next week, so we'll get them both done. Right, well, I tell you what, let's start with United, because it's slightly better news with them. I, th- I think they thoroughly deserve to beat uh, to beat Liverpool um, on, yeah. Mon- on Monday night. Liverpool weren't at the, at, at the very best, I think that's fair to say. I thought United thoroughly deserved the victory. I had a feeling, Dan, about about yeah. United, you know. I, I just felt that they were there for the taking. If they weren't playing particular, I know Man United wasn't, but I did feel as though that they were just getting away with a little bit Liverpool. Weren't brilliant against no, against Fulham. Weren't brilliant against Palace. You know, and, and they could have lost both of those games in the end. They did. But the, the question is, is this a turning point for United? Or, or are we going to find out more tomorrow? 12.30, live yeah. here on TalkSport. I think you said that. I think you're going to find out more tomorrow. Mm. I think, um, listen, you've got to get up for um, a game against Liverpool, but I think tomorrow, I think tomorrow is bigger. Um, you know, so all the top this week, you know, like you just said, and I've returned, you know, I've returned the corner. Yeah. Um, but you've got to go back to back. We want to see it again. Um, and I think that's what Ten Hag will be telling him all this week. You've got to go, you got to go and repeat what you've just done because we've all just seen it. There's no excuses now. Yeah. If they, no. if they don't turn up tomorrow, there's no excuses because you did it five days ago, five or six days ago. Yeah, Simo, you will know better than anyone. Um, Harry Maguire, obviously, you, you spent a long time with him at Leicester, played alongside him, and you know him, you know, in and out, dressing room, on the yeah. pitch, on the training field. Do you think this is going through a confidence spell where he's got a uh, lack of confidence, or is the step up to Man United, you know, a bit too much? Listen, I, listen, I can't speak for. Hmm. You know, wearing that Man United captain's armband, it's it's it's, it's a big job. Um, mm. Listen, I'm not going to sit here and you know defend obviously his performances, you know, of late. Um, but it was only a few years ago where United fans were, were gutted that he was missing the Europa League final, um, and he's been superb for England. So I actually think um, it'll probably do him a bit of good sometimes to to come out of the team because he's. Is 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 an honest lad, and he would do his best for the team. So he's not the type of player to like. Oh, I'm having a bad time. I'm getting hammered here and everywhere, and like throw an injury in, you know, and miss a game. He will keep going out there trying to do his best. And it's mm-hmm. been now, it's, you know, he's been taken out of his hands now by his manager. Mm-hmm. And I actually think sometimes coming out with it um, can sometimes do you good. You know, I think we've all been there when. You come out, you know, you have a bit of time and you get to get back to work on the training pitch. Uh, you got a bit of competition and you got to work back to get back into the team. 
Dan, of course, it's it's such a big season for for everyone because of the World Cup, especially if you're an international. And, and yeah. you know, now, now it, he will start to to feel if he doesn't get back in that time, and understandably that his international place may may come um, under pressure. Now, look, Southgate clearly likes him, clearly trusts him, and it may turn out that actually Southgate is happy to take a risk and play a player that maybe is not getting as much game time, but. Do you think that Maguire will be considering, now there's a week left in this window, do you think the conversation with him and Ten Hag might go along the lines of, look, if you're, if I'm not going to get game time, if I'm not in your starting eleven right now, can I move on? Can I go out and loan? Can I get my game time? Or do you stay at United and fight? I think he stays there and fights. Right. I don't think he's a type I don't think he's a type of person or character and player to to throw his toes out the pram and be like, oh, listen, I've, I've been dropped for one game, I've got a week left, is the World Cup. He will probably just back himself to get back in that team. And, you know, talking about England, I think, who who plays if he doesn't? <laughs> yeah, I, I think we're, we're so short. It's, you know, I don't know if, you know, you spoke about it, but I don't, you know, we're not we're not blessed with, no, we're not. you know, top, top centre-backs. No, we're not. It's fair. Yeah. yeah. Sam, I'm going to jump to, to Leicester because I know you work closely with them and you're still involved yeah. there. What's going on there? You know, <laughs> what is going on? What's the rumours? What's the chatter about the place? Ah, listen, I, I I was um doing some commentary at the you know the Stockport game the other day, so I was I was there. Obviously, it's up the road from me. Mm. You know, I saw the lads. You know, I had a chat with them, saw the staff, and to be honest, they seemed you know, in good spirits. Um, um, I know, uh, no, I think Vard, 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 was the only one on there. I think Johnny Evans. You know, he came to watch. Um, it wasn't a great performance. I think Stockport did really well. Um, I think Brendan will probably be disappointed with, with that. But it's a cup game. Sometimes they're difficult games, as we all know. But I don't know what's going on. I think, listen, we all sometimes need a new player to walk through the through the front door and to give us all a lift. Mm-hmm. And they've not had that. And it's all talk of for Fana leaving. Yeah. Um, etc. So what's happening with Yuri Tielemans? I think the whole pre-season has, has just been constant rumours, rumours. It's not been settled once, so it's difficult when players and your manager hasn't got anything settled. Mm. Um, they, they, they face my side. I'm at Stamford Bridge tomorrow, and yeah. you know I've looked at the way that, the way that Leicester plays. Certainly, even even when you were there, Dan, you're a counter-attacking side. You had, you, had, yeah. you know, technically brilliant footballers up top. In, you know, in Mares and the pace of, of Vardy or Kasaki as well. Then you had the lads in the middle of the park doing their job, drink water and and Angolo, and you boys doing what you do at the back. And really, yeah. Leicester. That blueprint is still there. Leicester are still that type type of counter attack inside, and at Stockport they played a five four one. There's no yeah. space to run into. So this is where Madison or, or players that can, have got to create a little bit of something out of nothing. I've got to kind of give you something. But Chelsea will be a different proposition, bro. Chelsea will be will want plenty of the ball. Will have plenty of the ball. Do you think it might suit Leicester the fact that Chelsea are a, a, a side with that want possession and are happy to go and throw men forward if they can? Yeah, I think you could be right there, yeah. but I do. I do think it's going to be a tough game. I think mm. you know, when you look at Chelsea. I, 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 you know, all the way throughout the team, um, you know, they're really strong. But I think you know, with Chelsea being at home, as you know, mm. the fans will be urging them to just attack, yeah. attack, especially with all the problems that Leicester have got at the moment. So yeah, you know, to counteract that, if you're if you're Leicester and you're Brendan Rodgers, mm-hmm. you're probably saying, let's be solid, you know, let's be hard to beat, let's yeah. be strong in a tackle, and you've got Vardy hit him, you know, you could start about Jamie Madison. Mm-hmm. I I think he's you know he's been the one bright spark up to now, and he started really well. He came on against Stockport the other night and he changed the game for Leicester. He looked like he wanted to grab, he grabbing the you know the team by the scruff of the neck and he wanted to win. So I think you're looking at someone like James Madison and Jamie Vardy. I think yeah. they're the two tomorrow that could uh, could be the only ones for me that will unlock Chelsea. You would have thought so. Dan, yeah. listen, matey, um, have a fab weekend. Appreciate your time as always, mate, and we'll catch up soon. Yeah. Sim, take care, right, man. Cheers. Tom, man. See you later, man. Take care, boys. Cheers, cheers. bud. Yeah. Danny Simpson there, former uh, Manchester United, Newcastle and Leicester, and of course Premier League winning defender there, looking ahead to some of those games. 